you recall that our uh, chiefs were appealing to the president when the president came here that if he could open Saglemi for our people to be relocated because they can't stay in classrooms, you know, for long. I mean, classrooms are not designed for res residential accommodation. Uh, but in the meantime, seeing that it doesn't appear that the president is comfortable with uh, offering Saglemi for our people, we are trying to mobilize on our own. So I want to announce that we have secured land, large tracts of land, so particular construction firms who want to come in to help us, even if it's prefab, prefab will appreciate it. The compatriots elsewhere are learning. So our children are being left behind. They are losing precious academic time. And they are all going to write the same exams, the same BEC, the same WASI. How would, they, how would they cope? So we need to relocate our people so that academic work can begin, the schools can be reopened. Then thirdly, the public health aspect of things. We really have to pay attention. I am glad that the Director General of the Ghana Health Service came here to see things for himself. He saw how precarious the situation is. I hope that he will quickly mobilize uh, a public health emergency plan and support system so that already the typhoid cases we are seeing, the cases of, uh, of uh, cholera and all of that does not you know, blow, blow, blow out of proportion. Then we will have to have that difficult discussion about full compensation. VRA must know that they won't be allowed to get away with this. It is not fair to make people lose their livelihoods, lose their properties, lose their farms, and then you think that they should just cope with it. And, I mean, uh, 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 it's not going to happen. Okay. We will insist on full compensation. And if we don't hear them announcing a plan for full compensation, we will bring legal action.